Hello student, welcome to this video. This is lecture number 18. We already covered our lecture 17 for solving the supplementary problem of the vector analysis book by Emers Pyjal. And you know all know that this is a very important book for the physics honors as well as for mathematics honors. So let's start for today for the solution of the supplementary function 3.47 to 3.65, which is consist of the vector differential chapter, chapter 3. Okay, for this uh, solution of this part you know the basic of these three uh, <laughs> three parameter which is known as the unit tangent vector unit normal vector and unit binomial take uh, any curve this is an x axis y axis and z axis right and taken any curve this is a any curve so at this point this is a tangent unit vector t cap and the normal to this curve is known as the tangent unit vector n cap and perpendicular to the both both to t cap and n cap known as the b cap which is binomial uh, unit binomial vector okay so this is the at point some point of this curve okay and uh, equation of this curve equation of this curve this is the equation of this curve r cap is denoted by this where ax y z is a function of s s can be time temperature anything okay this is a parameter s is the parameter parameter on which on which the position vector is dependent this is a position vector okay position vector right since this point is vary with uh, with the time or temperature or position that's why this is uh, this coordinate system t can n can be kept like a coordinate system they are perpendicular to each other that means they are uh, coordinate system this coordinate system is trihedral or triad coordinate system and this system is uh, moving this coordinate system is moving that's why it is the moving tri tri uh, trihedral this is known as the moving trihedral okay so the position vector is, is uh, written as the r cap and the tangent unit vector is nothing but dr vector by ds just derivative uh, differentiate this r vector you get the unit tangent vector and then the kappa this is the kappa is nothing but the d t cap by ds modulus of this this is known as also curvature and the inverse of this curvature known as the radius of curvature and the unit normal vector can be find the uh, one by kappa d t cap by ds just derivative this uh, unit tangent vector and then you get the unit normal vector and the unit binomial vector can be given uh, get by the cross product of t and n and uh, in using this relation you got the torsion and the radius of torsion can be uh, find out the inverse of the torsion okay so you need to uh, remember this relation this and that that the all this relation is remembered to solve the question from uh, number 3.47 to 3.65 okay <clears throat> and this uh, calculation is very lengthy that's why i decide to does not solve this uh, question i want to supply this uh, uh, relation this also written in the uh, the vector analysis books but i want to say this relation in a in in a slide and using this relation you got the uh, you can get the answer of this question but this is, uh, is a very lengthy process that's why i do not want to solve at this question okay so solve this if there is a, any problem or <laughs> do not solving this problem then you must contact or uh, write down in the comment box okay thank you we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you